Uh, are we seeing something? Yeah. Yeah? Is yeah. it working now? Uh, Can y'all hear me? Something. This is interesting. Yeah, that it has. Katie, can you hear me on the screen? Yep, you can hear you. Okay, yep. good. Because yep. I say yep a lot. Yep. Can you hear yep. me? Yep. 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 Okay. Yep. Sorry, had some weird audio issues. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I'm working on our user interface. Um, for those of you who have not seen it already, let me go into Unity. Okay, so a while back, Ron was working on some of our user, our blah, 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 user interface. Um, so these are some of your resources, uh, other menu items around here, where your quests will pop up. And so what I am currently working on, close all of this up. Last week, I got all of our resources connected. So as you get more of one resource, it actually increments. Now I'm starting to work on our in-depth view, where I can click on an object and click a button to bring up all the details and all the commands associated with that object. Um, so let's stop this. This middle piece right here is a temporary in-depth window. And so as you can see, so I would change the name to whatever the object's name is, adjust the health bar, the current uh, load or capacity, and the progress. So progress is for if a building is building units, how uh, much has it gone. Current load, which will probably change. But that is pretty much if I have a warehouse, how full is it? And then hit points are my health. And so down here where you see the scroll bar, I'm going to be looking at implementing our commands. And then what we're thinking about doing is for buildings, and it may be potential units that have a queue system, is being able to have tabs that I can go switch back and forth between commands and the queue. Uh, so a lot of what I'm doing right now is just getting my actual panel set up where I can have a lot of that displayed. Let me see. Don't want that. I want this panel. OK. Details, name, hit bar, capacity bar. Move all these around my scroll bar. Bring it up. Let me check on. Another thing that I am looking at doing is being able to have this box be formatted um, and adapt to different situations on its own. So if I click on a building that has health but does not hold anything but can build something, then this blue bar right here will not show up. Um, or flip it around. If it can hold things but it cannot build things, then the orange bar wouldn't show up. Um, every unit in every building will have a health bar. Um, but if one of these is missing, then I need to completely change the layout of the entire panel and shift everything up or down according to what all is going to be displayed. So, I think one of my first things I want to try is let me look and find the actual code for the UI. Missions. Where did he put this? Okay. Let me look in here. It should be under UI scripts. There it is. Item info panel. Open. 
Okay, and then let me switch y'all over to the code. Down here on these little flags that would be popping up in the buildings, there's an edit button right now. Um, but eventually there would be some form of button that you would click on to bring up this window. So I need to work on getting this box to disappear and only appear when I hit the button. Let me go in and look at... here. Better yet. Where are the flags? War factory, war factory. Doesn't have it. Okay, so we're going to try it over here. Under our player. Under buildings. Under war factory. Item flag. Item flag title, edit button, and text. So the edit button, on click. Oops. Nope. Does it have a script? It does not have a script. Oops, wrong one. No function. Back and look. I did it before, but now I can't remember. For the on click on the button, how do I tell it where to find the function? Uh, hang on, give me just a second. Just... Okay. I've done it once before, but now I can't remember where to go. All right, in the meantime, then. So on your edit button, no. on click. All right. So what um, what object you're wanting? This is going to be. Is it the edit button or is it the um, the close button? The edit button. Okay, and you want it to whenever I click it to call a certain function. Okay. Um, what object or component is that function on? Probably, probably in our HUD script. Well, then you need HUD to object. You need to drag that object into here, okay. and then this pop this <laughs> would pop down. Okay, will pop down with the functions. Got well, there it. it is. There's HUD. I don't know if that's the. Oh, you just put it in there. Yeah, right I just now. put it in there. And so then that's a list of all the functions. And you can do it if it has like one parameter. You can also set the parameter if you need to do that. That's good for like if you're doing it and you are toggling kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You can send it true or false. Right. Okay. Now, back to this. So if that's the case.
Can you hear me now? Apparently not. Nope. I see. It says that there's stuff moving. Now can you hear me now? Now you can hear me. Uh, can you hear me now? I apologize. I don't know why I'm having audio issues. Anyways, I will repeat what I said a little bit ago. Uh, we were using the old method of doing user interface. And now I have to go back in and update it to the new method. And that's why a lot of this code is kind of all over the place and crazy looking. We will go and clean it up once we get all the old functionality moved into the new system. So now I'm setting up my variables. Wow, I can't even spell public right. Um, in order to get this in-depth view panel toggled so I can click it and have it only appear when I want to see the detailed view. What's wrong, Katie? You sound so exasperated. I did something wrong, but I fixed it. <laughs> Katie fixed it, y'all. Don't worry. Okay, I think that's all I need at the moment. And then under start. Um, detail. Panel. Equals. Where did I set it up before? I know I set it up in here somewhere. Okay, so I used player. I will just copy this because I did that before. Player dot main canvas dot transform dot find and in Unity it is called details. For my lightning plane, I just need to make it white, you said. Detail. Panel. Yeah, I mean, dot enable. Equals false. So, it really doesn't necessarily, it so when I start, I start the game, I don't want to die. Unity Engine Transform does not contain a thing for enable. Alright. What does it need to be in order to have So I can make like multiple lightning issues. Well, I think he, we're going to have to change it in the Unity side once you do it. So um, there will be multiple textures. Be multiple. What we do okay, the come on. Is, is I change the texture between these PNGs. Um, so we're changing the texture, but it's the same material. Hang on one we're second. got to look this up. Of the different lighting. Disable UI element in Unity. Make a material. No, I want to disable it, not. Lighting on it. If you make it, I would say you can make it transparent, and then you can see what it looks like in Blender. Otherwise, when you can put some lightning on there, because it'll have to be a different lightning, because mine's just like one lightning that kind of goes across the right thing. Here's going to have to be multiple lightnings kind of going across the right thing. That's not what I want. In order to be inner. So do that, make those, and uh, that's not what I want either. See how they work. And then when you export them to Unity, you export the whole thing to Unity. That's not you it. You probably also have to like export those particular, that's not it. Those particular textures. Come on, Google, you're failing me. Then we can bring back not into Unity. Not as well, JPEG doesn't have transparency. Okay. Well, do PNGs do work? Okay, so I always do JPEG. Yeah, well, I mean, JPEG's fine. It works too, it just doesn't have transparency. Whereas PNG does. And in the lightning case, you're not seeing So it. don't make this white at all, just put the lightning. Yeah, we'll just put the lightning. I don't know if how it handles transparency in those things. So you're, are you exporting a you ex, you export a you export a JPEG from Photoshop and then bring it in? Yeah, so I export it to a PNG and make your background. Okay, so all right, let's try this way.
what is this? Okay, Unity Transform does not have a definition for Tornado Bolt. Alright, Ron. Any ideas of how to check the enabled thing on and off? Because apparently it doesn't have a thing for enabled. Right now, I'm saving them as transform so I can get into their children. Yeah. But transform doesn't have the enabled property. It may be called something different. Hey, Austin, let me know when you're done streaming and I'll start streaming. Okay. Stay on. Okay. Start now. Start now? Yeah. Start telling people now. Goodness, okay. Katie has informed me. No, I will not bow to your thing. You're not in control, Katie. <laughs> please. please. Katie said please, so I guess I should do it. Katie well, said that. Encourage your good behavior. <laughs> after. <laughs> what? Yes, encouraging good behavior. Here, would you like some chocolate, Katie? I would. Can you go get my Reese's out? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's where I draw the line. <laughs> Anyways, after my stream, Katie will be streaming her work on the art side. So if y'all want to stick around for that as well, stick around for that. But we still got a long way to go with me. Yeah. So I think you only got about 20 minutes left. Buckle up and I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but for those of you watching, if you want to put anything in the comments, ask, ask questions, make, com make comments about me, my programming, Anything you want, go ahead and just leave them in the he's comments. He's wearing his boys, his hair. Thank you, Katie. Yes. Talk about me. You can't see. Um, so go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll respond to them and talk with you about it. All right. It's, at, it's set active. That's what I tried, and it didn't. Is it capital S or lowercase s? Capital S, capital A. Yeah, it's saying that that is not a thing. Do you have transform does not contain a definition for set active? All right, you know what? Which means it must be included in something else. We're gonna go ahead and just use. Oh, you can also say set active recursively. Interesting. Uh, what are the transform functions? Fine. Da, 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 da. Public functions, static functions, nothing about it's game object set active. Yeah, but that's game object. This is not a game object. Can you? What is it? It's a transform. Because I can't really hold it as a game object. Game object. I tried it and it didn't like it. I mean, I can maybe typecast it. So, why are you getting? Transform and not the game object. It didn't like it. It said that's not a re that doesn't work. It what? Like when I tried to say game object variable name and then set it to this panel, it didn't like it. The code threw in a thing. No, you can't do that. Hmm. Uh, put the panel in a game object. But it's under the canvas. So you have can you can have game objects in the canvas. I mean, I can try. Or you can put it, the canvas in the game object. I mean, let me check. Where did I call it? I can say public transform. I can say game object. Back over to Twitch over here so I can see. Detail panel and then detail panel. Where'd it go? It's weird to have Austin talking so much. So then what is enabled? Because I know that I've done that when, what is that used for? So, GUI enabled, cloth enabled. Yeah, I looked it up and none of those are what we're looking for. But I know that I've hit enabled before, I just don't know where I used it. Kind of weird. You can also read exactly stay with active self, the game object. 
All right, so game object currently it's not throwing any errors. So what happens if I try and play? Now there's errors. Cannot implicitly implicitly convert type Unity Engine Transform to Unity Engine Game How Object. Are you getting a transform because you can only get a transform from a game object. Transform is a component, right? I don't know. I can just say public transform. And it works, except now it doesn't like set active. What are you setting that public variable to? Are you setting it? Finding as... this, finding the panel. So I don't know. It takes forever to load when I have OBS. Streaming. You have a few uh, tabs open. Just a few. No, a lot of these are from that Google thing that I had open. Close a bunch of these down. Okay, now it's okay. Um, so yeah, now it runs just fine. But as soon as I try and hit enabled or whatever, it breaks and says, no, that's not, that doesn't work. Oh, it's not set active equals false. It's set active, open paren, false. It's a function. Go down, go back down. Set active is a function. And now false. Still not transform does not contain definition for set active. Player main and player main canvas canvas dot transform dot find details and that's the details. Details, panel object in the hierarchy. Right here. Nope. Hang on. Right there. What just drew? Oh, okay. Um, and you, that is a rec transform canvas renders. There's a canvas? There's a panel? It's a panel. Yeah, you know it's weird. They should say what that is. Yeah. There should be like something up there that says this is what this object is. Here, I can rename it to details panel so we know what everything is. Okay, so your panel and I I store them as transforms because like with the resources one, that was the only way I could get to all of the children objects to edit them. Because like the thing that I actually store as the transform is that panel and then I go and reference the image, the text, and all yeah. of that. I'm trying to think if there's another way to get to it without getting it via the transform, mm -hmm. which is probably, I don't know, I was going to say that may be why it's passing it back. It's passing the transform component back. Actually, the truth is this thing doesn't even have a transform component, right? It has a rec okay, transform. Okay, there was this one. back null? Yeah, I'm sure because that's, these are working, and I did it the same way. Well, that doesn't mean it's working for the object you're actually doing it on now. Because those don't give you the error. Or did you get this error before? I got the error before. That like the whole cannot convert game object or transform to game object. Or got that with them. And I figured out I could use transform and still be able to get to all the children objects that way. Okay, so it seems components are enabled or disabled, not the actual thing itself. Back to here. But that doesn't make sense because that checkbox is not on a component. Right. I mean, you can disable and enable a component, right? You right. can turn off the script, that's a component. 
but you should also be able to turn off the entire game. And obviously, set active is a is a method on the game object. Mm -hmm. But the problem is that when you get a hold of this thing, you're not getting the game object. You're getting right. its transform, which is a component, and not the object that the component's on. Can you ask a component what its object is? I could hang on. Where where is that up there? So I could do dot. Game object dot set active equals false. Now there's no error. Because now we've got the game object right. that that component was on. Why don't you just put Unity over here? What? I said, why don't you just put Unity on your other monitor? Not Unity, um, OBS on your other monitor. And really, you don't need the view, which is probably eating up the view cycles. You could just pop out, out the chat and see it. And then, because it seems to me that, that there's got to be something that's bad about having your Twitch stream open at the same time you're streaming. OK, back here. So yeah, so now it did disable. Yeah, so that was it. It was that when you get it by transform, you don't you to, get right. the game object, you get its transform component. But you can ask <sighs> a component its game object, and that's what that plugin works. Okay. So now I need to go ahead and set up a function Another problem solved. in HUD script to actually enable and disable that panel. What was this? Oh, that's old code. That can all go away. Poof. Okay. Public void. What do I want to call this? Uh, toggle. Details view. Rule. Um, what do we want to call this? Um, show. So I'm going to create a function that will take in a variable that is either true or false and use that to determine whether or not I should show this panel. So I would go up here and say so detail panel dot game object dot set active to show. So if I wanted to I could go ahead up here Actually, I'm going to change this to show. There. So, let me try something. Now, back into. And I. Y'all seeing it. I apologize. So really quick, here is the method that I wrote. So public void show details view takes in a boolean called show. Then I say set active true or false. So that'll make it disappear or up here based on what I want. And then up in here, I call that function to turn it off when the game starts. So. The one thing, Ron, yeah. about not having Twitch up, because now I don't know how many people are watching. Because this is only a limited number. Yeah. Oh, well. Does he, you still, is OBS still giving you the... I mean, no, it has gone off now. Okay, let me go... 
So on my edit button that was down here, edit button, I want to call that ah, doesn't have all my things. Game object. Transform. H U T. Come on. Bool enable string name string. It doesn't have all my Now, where's my function? Come on. Hang on, let me check back. The actual object I put in there, HUD, has HUD script. edit button Ron, it's not pulling any of my actual functions that I declared in that script. Yeah. None of these are in HD script. Show me your file. So you're looking for show detail view? Yeah. Is it saved? Mm hmm. Detail view. It just oh, there it is. Then how? Where are my update resources set resource values? None of those showed up. Are they? And they're public. What do they? They return something. Um. Yes, they do. No. No, they don't. They're public void. But they take in a bunch of parameters. Yeah, but maybe that, only the ones it can call. And that's only things that take one. Okay, so for that, so what do I tell it? And so is the check mark the true? Or is check mark <laughs> false? Check mark is true. Okay. So if I check it, so it's going to call that and say true. Okay, we're going to try it. So if I go over here, hit edit, and it works. Nice. Now there's no close button, but one step at a time. <clears throat> okay. Any preference on how this is set up? Like where the pose button should be, or how we want to. Um, one thing I, I think about when I think about the UI is don't think of it as a game UI. Think of it as of the UI for a program that a community manager would be using. Mm -hmm. So the standard kind of way people do nowadays would be a circular X in the top right. Alrighty then. Which you might be able to steal from some web page that has that. You might seek inspiration on some web pages or something like that. <laughs> seek inspiration. There's no steel. No, why would you ever suggest that? So. Oh, you do be that.
let me look and see what I can do. So UI button, 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 button. And let us edit all those values so from the center. That's what I wanted. Okay. So width of 20. Five. And it should be up here, and here. And it's text X. So this button, let me select off of it. Oh, come on. That's not centered. Now it's centered. It's better. Add an event HUD, HUD, show details, and false. So now that I can do that, and if I hit edit and hit X, there we go. Toggling back and forth. Okay. So, now the fun part of connecting the object that I clicked to actually display the stats. That's going to be fun. How do I want to do that? You're saying the on click uh, it's only if there is one parameter? Well, it can only have one parameter. It can have no parameters. Right, but I can only go up to one. I can't have like two. You can't have like two. Am I limited in what kind of parameter I pass? Um, I believe you are limited in what kind of parameter. So I cannot pass the game object itself? No. I'm pretty sure not. Right, because you don't know what it is. You you don't have any ability to like access your variables from the UI. Right. From the interface. Hmm. I mean, in a way, having a having a uh, an ability to send a parameter is a nice thing, but you really you wouldn't expect that from a button. Right. You really just expect a button to say, "I was clicked." Yeah. I was surprised it wasn't just on click or on button click, and that was it. That was all you got. Because hmm. I have to figure out how in the world I'm going to, well, I guess I just have to figure out which object is selected. And I've already done that. Okay. Public. Void. Spell void correctly. Bring y'all back into code. So if y'all do have any questions, comments, complaints, whatever, you can type them in the chat window and I'll see it. For those of you just now joining, um, I am the programmer for Reactuate Games and I am working on our user interface. And right now I'm working on an in-depth details panel that'll pop up whenever you click on an object and click the details button. So right now I need to connect the object that's clicked to actually update the stats in the panel. Public void update details panel. And let us say we will say because I do have dot, is it selected object? Yes, yeah, so I already have the variable selected object. Um, 
details or detail panel. Let me look at my detail panel in here to see what I've got. So I've got the name, the hit bar, capacity bar, build bar, and scroll bar. So I want to update the name. So string name equals detail panel dot transform dot and the object is the name. So name equals do I really need this? I don't think I actually even need this. I think I can say oh no yes I do. Now I say name text yeah name not text so is that even that's not really a string oh well worry about that later name dot text equals player dot selected object dot name right knew that was going to happen string does not contain a definition for text what did I call it up here oh transform panel because it really is a transform because it's a panel not the actual text never mind it is text there take that and now I also whenever I click on the button Take this too, dang it. HD. Alright, come on, save. I call it update details panel. So now you need to update and give me that function. Show detail. Come on. Unity's being problematic and not updating its function list. Come on. Show details. So what's this? At one thirty four. Yeah, I changed that. Oh, oh, I see what I'm doing. Transform. Is the name. Now. Oh. oh, okay, that's what I'm doing. Undo that here. Let me switch y'all back. What I'm doing. Dot. Get component text. That's what I was missing. No, I was missing something. Now then. Now, which would probably be why it wasn't updating in Unity, because there was an error. Yep, there it is. 
community. You can see that it's showing up over there. And now let's see if it actually worked. So if I go over here, click on that, come up. Yeah, we'll see. War Factory, hey, it worked. Although now it's not disabling. Oh, did I open it up a bunch of times, I wonder? Interesting glitch. Let's try this again. What happens? So if I have nothing. Object reference not set to an instant of an object. Update details panel. There, I have something selected. Hmm, this is interesting. Why would it be doing this? Oh, duh, because that, and that doesn't go there. Duh, it should go down to this button. Stupid. Why did I do that? Now it makes sense. HUD update. There we go. I can't turn it off. No function. Let's try this again. Aha! There it is. Ah, got the name change. Okay, so if anyone new is watching, I am currently working on the user interface for our game. Um, I'm working on an in-depth view panel that'll pop up. And for right now, I've got it to where I can click on a button, it'll pop up with the name of the item that's currently selected and I can disable it. So these actual flags that I'm clicking on would actually I believe they would only show up when you actually have the object selected. So I could not sit here doing all of this and have it be weird and glitchy. And I couldn't like select this one over here and then come over here and hit the edit and have that. So. All right, so that worked. Now let's continue working on details view method. So I've got the text changed. So now I want transform. Let me go over here. Fine. So I'm going to go and get the health. And transform uh, health bar equals detail panel dot transform dot find and it is called So that will be my health bar. 
Now for my actual health, I'm going to say image health equals health bar dot transform dot find and it is hit points and then dot get component it should just be image okay so now to actually set the health bar to what I want it to be, I should go health dot fill amount equals, you know what, where is, I need to set up game object No. Selected equals got selected object. Because typing that over and over is gonna get kind of boring. Selected dot name. So selected dot Where are its hit points? Hmm. Oh, I know why. Do I need... So no, I need world object selected dot Get component world object. There we go. So world object is the class or is a universal class um, that is used for every object in the game and then everything is kind of uh, narrowed down a little bit later but the world object has all of the information I will need. So, uh, now hit points, there it is, divided by selected dot so max hit points. You're going to speak in a little night. Yeah, I see. You want to set up the call alert stuff before we do it. And, and the new. You know what, let's just try it. Let's see what happens. That. Yeah, that's the one. That is the one. Um, okay. Uh, okay, so if I come over here, select that and edit. Okay, it didn't work. Good to know. Uh, I think I, I know why it didn't work, but so float float. So what I went and did in the code right there really quick was I converted the hit points and max hit points to floats and so now they're going to be divided by each other and let's see if that made a difference no oh well ah. I know what happened there it is I know what the issue was and it wasn't even the floats uh, in the building script I set its health to zero because you don't start off with any buildings. You build them from the ground up. So this one was already there and for this purpose it had zero health. 
that's why it was saying that there wasn't anything there. So if I go hit points right here. So it's at zero. So if I go ahead and increase to that, let's see if I close it and bring it up again. There it goes. Okay. So it doesn't actually update continuously. So I can go in and change that. But it is actually working. So I'm going to actually call update details panel. Into update. But I'm not going to actually go ahead. So what I did was I put update details panel, a call to that, in update. But I don't want that going all the time, especially when most of the time it's not even going to be up. So public school is showing. Oh, what's that? I did spell it right. Details equals. So down here in the update. I'm going to have an if statement if make it so that someone follows is showing details there we go what are you whining about now so now it's only going to call update details panel when I have a details panel open and I need to go when I actually when I show it, I need to set is showing details equal to show. Are y'all making fun of me because I'm talking so much? They're making fun of me, people. I don't know if it's some oops, did I not close something? Oh, oh that's So, edit. So if I go in and edit, it's, ooh, yep, there it goes. I think she wanted you to check on them. No. She said she just So it's updating, updating, updating. Okay, but let's say, I want to make sure that it actually is only going. When? All right, well. When um, it is supposed to be so print update. So now it should only be printing updating when I have the panel open. Edit. All right. So if you can see over down here, stop it. It is going up, going up, going up, and if I close it, it stopped. So I do know that it is only calling that when the panel open, which is good. So that means right now our health and the name are connected. So and that it would be nice to have it up so that if I have the details panel up but my building's being attacked or something, I can see that the health is going down and not see the old health bar. And I don't so, have yet, now for the fun part. Because current load and progress will not be shown every time. So I need to dynamically change this box 
to only show what it needs to show. Um, so, let's just make a new screen. Well, and this is going to be interesting. Hmm. How do I want to do this? And add to it a, an image. And um, let's call this background. Hmm. How uh, do I want to do this? And then browse and go to your Dropbox folder. And our shared folder. Because the problem is, like with hit points, that is in the world object. Every object will have that. No, not that one. Capacity and progress, not every object has. Background tape. And that's the issue here. Hmm. What do I want to do? Um. Let me try. Alright, here. Now. We're just going to start working and we'll get to it when we get to it. Do you do the, you do the whole update screen. resources, update so, panel. Add a screen. So that's our name, that's our health bar. Let's spread it out so everyone can see it. Right? So transform. Like, uh, what do we call this? Like add existing. Display capture. That's the same one for the other one. Yeah. Now, you need transform. to put it in between the foreground and the background. So. Press T. And then you can size it or you want to size it to make it so that it equals detailed panel. Find capacity bar with a capital C. Part of it is because your thing's so huge. And then pretty much it's going to be the same thing. As this, yeah. and you can move it around. Very there we go, and call and this. So you got that. Yeah, and you. Um, Oops, spell it right. Add your video. So, yeah. Now for the fun part. How do I edit the capacity? Say add existing. Because only certain buildings can hold will have a capacity variable, but there's no way. Of right, finding you want to get the name, you can add a that variable if I have the parent uh, like class, parent. not the child class. So click add text. And set with the model. Those of you watching, if you have any thoughts, put them and in the comments and I will like read over them. Stream title or whatever you want to call it. So here, let me see if I can show you all an example of what I'm talking about. So let me find a world object. Object in Command Center. Oops. That would be Command Center. Okay, so this is the world object script. So as you can see, let's see. Yeah, hit points and max hit points. Those are there, and that is in every single child class of world object. They access to hit points and max hit points. Now, for our Command Center, so command center both, inherits um, from building, yeah, and building inherits from world object. And if you want to use that font that so, so much, only very specific forms, buildings have a capacity. It's, uh, so, but there's also a couple of units that have the capacity. Uh, and a switch statement seems very... Uh, you don't have it. Oh, no. Very inconvenient to have to go in and check for every single every single case that would have a capacity. Yeah, it is ostrich. Let's see if it's, um, do a quick search. It's probably in our Dropbox folder somewhere. Yeah, it's a font file. Could. Hmm, let me try the long, drawn-out way 
It's probably not the best way, but we're going to do it anyways. So. O-S-T-R. Um, we'll try... We'll try thinking that it's a yeah, unit it's first. So minor... Minor equals selected dot get component. And we'll get minor. If or here, we'll say. World object item. Yeah. Nope, it has to be minor. Minor. So if not item. So if item is null, meaning that there is no minor script attached. This is not a good way of doing this, but <sighs> command center. <laughs> oh goodness! We're going to typecast it now to command center. Item equals select a type of component. Command center. Else if not item, I don't even know if this is going to work, but you know, we'll do it anyways. And then I think right now we have it called War Factory item equals. Apparently, Mine's not ostrich sands. Else, ostrich sands. Item equals no. I have no idea what that's going to work. So, print. That's not, that's not ostrich sands. Item dot get. Let's see what happens. See, that's not the. Do you look up there where it's listing what the font name is? One fifty one and one fifty three. You know what we need to do is uh, cancel. What is it saying? No, just save it for now. We'll come back Must be a second. variable property. Well, or yeah, right. So this isn't even working. My bet is that. OBS can't handle the fact that we installed the form. None of that's going to work. So it probably has some reason. Yeah, but let's go ahead and do the, uh, the work before we restart. Mm -hmm. So you need to come back over here. No. Plus browser source. And uh, follow over. Okay. We're going to update world object. Now, go copy that hosted URL. Public pool. And paste it in there. Has capacity. And then also and set the height and width. Has progress. Okay, actually open it back up again. Just for here. So it has capacity. So, so by default, in, I'm going to say end, no to both of those. Paper scan, I mean. And then to some of my items, like a command center. Protected. It's going to zoom back up and override await based on awake and 
set them to true. <laughs> so, this might work. Go back to HUD. So, I'm going to first, if selected dot has capacity. So if, because if I don't have a capacity variable, I don't even need this. So now we bar. have the follow roller in there. Um, we have, we're still working on the font. So okay, now exit. Now I still run into the whole. Yeah, and then we open it. Now how do I get the capacity? Oh, yeah. Well, exit should quit. Oh, force quit it. Force quit is not what you probably want to do. That's like, let's just quit the thing, write whatever it's doing, I don't care. Luckily for us, we didn't get totally killed for that. Now let's create a text um, and see if it'll let us use on this one. Bum ba dum ba dum. Let's worry about that in just a second. Else. So if I don't have a capacity, I am going to. What am I going to do? Hide it. So I do need this out here first. Okay. Else. Dang it, stop. Okay. Capacity bar dot game object dot set active. False. It's unfortunate you can't tell it's a center. Okay, so let's see if that even did anything. You cl it cl like clicks through to the here, look over here. There you go, now you are the first okay. person who's going to have a live stream your setup to get them over for a follow. So, so haha, it did work. This the War Factory currently does not have the capacity option, so that bar is gone. But if I click on this guy, it didn't come back. That's an issue. Well, it could be okay. Hang on. No reference exception. I mean, object not set to an instance of an object. Graphical background. 149. Yeah. So what is that? 149. Like the person is cool. Right? Like, they're awesome. That's 149. Oh, that. uh, the image. Like, because it's not there. there. So for now, we'll just go with this. Make sure it um, so works, and then we'll figure out. If that, then I just set it. Active. Yeah, just do it. There we go. Oh, what's that one? What is that? Never. You don't get to stream. I'm not allowing you time I to stream. I control. I can stream when I want. No. I'm just being. You know, when I can start streaming. So, Austin, what time are you going to let me stream? Because I have to go at 5 or 6. I have to play this clover arena. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Austin. Yes, Katie. Would, would you like to stop streaming? <sighs> I'm streaming. Let us let the let's see what the viewers want. Ask them. No, they probably want me to stop. Yeah. Viewers, <laughs> would you like Austin to stop streaming and for me to start streaming off my graphics? Katie stuff? wants to start streaming. Soon. Soon. I don't have to this second. I still have a couple of things. Alright, how about at 315 we switch? That's in ten minutes. That's totally fine. Alright guys, so in ten minutes, Katie will start streaming her art stuff and I will continue working on this off camera. So you happy now, Katie? Yep. But what are these? Okay, what's the number of 150?
Why is it throwing all of that? When it did, when did it did pop back. Start? In 10 minutes, 3.15. Why? It's there. Object reference not set to an instance of an object. At 150. At line 150. At line 150 is the image. Just for the fun of it. I take all that out so it doesn't hide that bar anymore. It is still doing it. Okay. So it's not. Update details panel. Object reference not set to an instance of an object. Okay. So, going on in here. Okay, have you set up the new look and everything yet? Yep. Okay. And, yeah, she has the new follower alert thing too. Well, good for you, Katie. I'm so proud. You should. That's a little snarky, Austin. <laughs> Austin gets his own TV show and he just becomes like celebrity. I'm changing my title now. Well, you changing your title now too. Huh? What are you changing your title to? She's changing it on the control. Oh, it's not time yet. Do I still have five Fine. more minutes? I will wait. Rude. I'm trying to take my show from I you. I will cut you. <laughs> Gosh. Austin's rude, everyone. Just thought I'd like to let you know. Okay. What's the difference here? Oh, that's why. Because it's called something else. Shut up, Katie. <laughs> that's not very nice. Okay. Ron, have you made my intro yet? I saw you were doing it. Yeah, make intro for Star Trek. Trek. Yeah, we're what are you doing? Last. Star Trek Online. Oh, that's all it's called? What? Yeah. Okay. Put it in the doing, apparently. Dang it, it's still doing it. And y'all are just not keeping it straight. I'm gonna have to go back and fix it. What day should get all these? <laughs> Stephanie, are you gonna do your own Twitch stream? Hmm. Twitch is Stephanie's gonna have her pod whole podcast. Okay, so then. Alright, what's the issue? Current load is the name of the child. Ah, uh, health bar. That's why this should be capacity bar. You hear me? Yes, I heard you, Katie. Okay, thank Better you for hurry. letting me know. So I had misnamed one of my variables, that's why I was throwing an error. Okay. So if I do this now, and no error, that's always nice to see. Okay. Bring this back, tab that back over, bring in this code, and there we go. What did you do, Katie? It's what you did. I didn't do anything. You put me on the developer branch and not to switch my I did not put you anywhere. You, you did switched. Because you wanted to do your little video on my computer and you didn't switch it back afterwards. Well, I was the one who switched it in the first place. Oh. And the thing I just finished is not in our, our spread. Okay, so it hides it's it. It's not on here or it's That's good. Yeah, it is. Over here. It's back. 
There we go. Good. So, Would you like to be in my show for a little bit? I don't know. Am I welcoming your show for a little bit? I guess. I'll be nice and share. All right. Then here, for the last three minutes of mine, we'll transition over to yours. Okay. But my unity's still loading. All right. We'll wait a little bit while Katie's unity loads. So now we're going to get ready to transition over to Katie while she does some of our art stuff. Twitter. Okay. Thank you, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. uh, while you wait, go ahead and go to Twitter and Facebook. There are the social media names right there on the screen for you. So go ahead, go follow us on Twitter. Go like our page on Facebook. Uh, go to our website and sign up for our email list where we'll send you a whole bunch of cool updates and all sorts of stuff you can read, some of our blog posts that we've done. Uh, and then don't forget to just follow us on Twitch. We do a okay. whole bunch of stuff. So. I'm ready. All right, Katie's ready. So I will stop my stream and we will transition over to Katie.